Good morning, my lovelies, my darklings, my lightlings, my hybrids, and everybody watching. I hope you are well. Excuse the background noise. Floki, um, yeah, he's got his bone, and uh, he goes where I go, okay? So we're just going to have to deal with it. But uh, today, I wanted to do the uh, hashtag created over at Boho Tarot's channel. My village hashtag. Yes. Yes, we're doing this. We are. So uh, punch that like and sub button in the face. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Love you. Mwah. And uh, let's get into it. Alrighty, the first one I have here for my village is the guide. Personal deck that gives me guidance, especially in dark times, is the Merkab Tarot. Some may view this as like a dark deck only, but I see it dark and light. A polarity within the cards, and I feel like I can go to this deck with anything especially self-reflection or reflection of a situation or if I need guidance whether that be for daily life or on my path and practice sorry about the ball guys Floki's at it again <laughs> but yes this would definitely be my village guide now this one can go for number one and two for me, the Starseed Oracle, but I chose it as the caregiver for a very good reason, I think. I happen to believe that we all have ancestors who are higher dimensional, interdimensional beings, or also known as extraterrestrials. I also feel like our ancestors who pass away can become guides. So merging number one with number two, I feel like those who I knew as my caregivers who are now on the other side can become other beings or ethereal guides on that realm. They definitely speak to me through these cards. Beautiful thing. I definitely admire this deck for that connection. Beautiful. For creative purposes, not only with hobbies and things I love to do, but also on my spiritual path. Let me show you how. Not only is this amazing for inspiration on writing and drawing, which I love to do, and I love fantasy-based things or themed things but for my path for example using the cards to like meditate at times because I do believe tarot can also be kind of like portals um, if you will them to be and recently I started a draconic path working working with dragon guides and such and if I meditate on certain cards pertaining to what I'm doing in my craft, it can help bring me creative inspiration. Um, I'm also looking into a lot of ancient rituals, like based on uh, shape-shifting magic and lycanthropy. Um, also, I know the rituals of the berserkers are quite famous. But I'm interested in that part of magic and want to look more into it in the future. So I'll definitely be using these uh, for creative inspiration or muse. <laughs> um, I do like fey work as well. And <laughs> I just believe that these cards can create a lot of that for me, even if I get stumped or kind of stagnant on my path there's always ideas in here reminds me of odin for the counselor 
the family support deck. Well, I chose this Oracle deck because literally my sons and I use it. But really, when my sons have a question, which I absolutely love, they always come to me and they're like, Mom, read for me, please. And they'll pick a deck out of all of them. And I tell them to feel which one, you know, kind of pulls them for the questions that they have and uh, appropriate for the type of reading they want. But this oracle deck is kind of always my go-to if they have like one or two questions and just want general advice. I definitely love the priestesses of this deck. I wanted to show you the priestesses first and then like some of the other like key advice in this deck. I just think they're beautiful. I know they're based on a book series. However, this deck has proven to be quite useful for spiritual purposes and messages. But they have small little keywords and the photos are kind of self-explanatory. And I read intuitively with this, not so much as with the book. But it's proved to be very useful for my family and I and for council purposes. Okay, for the Priestess and Mystic Spiritual Work decks, I got three of them. What I want to definitely say about this deck is I have connected with this one so deeply. It is one, again, that I can go to anytime. And this one really feeds my soul when it comes to advice and messages. It never lets me down. I have used the sigil to connect with these beings. And uh, I feel that may help the uh, connection I have with this deck and the work I do with it. But, I mean, I have not really heard, I'm sure there are people out there who don't like it, but I haven't heard one person so far who has it and isn't satisfied with it. I mean, look at that. No matter what I am going through, this deck always reflects the situation back to me and with great advice or guidance. It's almost like this deck alone is the mystic, the seer of the village. And if I need to go visit the seer, this is the deck I'd choose. Most definitely. Next, we have the runes, of course. Um, I am getting more and more into rune reading, and this deck really helps with that as well. Um, I do love this deck, and I find it just as well as reading runes. It's like reading them, but with tarot, and that's like... Two birds with one stone and quite awesome. Next, I absolutely love astrology. This deck um, is probably my newest. Uh, Rochelle helped me and gifted me this deck. Um, kind of learning a lot off her about true sidereal astrology. Very deep into Western, um, which I tend to use... You know, I go back and forth between, like, the systems. I use what I learned in Western and incorporate it into the true sidereal, and it hasn't failed me. But while on the journey of learning, because I know basically everything else, but now the sextiles, asteroids, and uh, the deeper aspects of astrology is what I... And moving forward with on my astrology journey and spiritual path and these cards are perfect for it not really so much as like for reading but it helps me read my chart for the elder the 
Shade Advice deck. I chose the Night Sun Tarot, which I adore this deck. But uh, this is my go-to uh, for the no lies, give it to me hard type of deal. I'm sure we've all been there. We're like, we need a little bit of truth. And this deck just helps me see that more, I think, in the symbology of the art in the cards. It's a gorgeous deck. Very, very symbolic, I feel. And for someone like me who takes the meanings into account, yet does predominantly read intuitively with the meanings in mind, uh, this is perfect for me. Because I like to have a lot of imagery and a lot to go on with what I feel while interpreting. Or the teacher of the village, my study deck. I chose the Thoth Tarot. Uh, Rochelle and I have been studying it. And I have learned so much through this and Crowley's work. I truly admire all of the spiritual workings that he put into this. And uh, all the symbology and the deepness of the deck. One could say that the artwork isn't, you know, that spectacular. However, if you study this with uh, the Book of Thoth and the uh, study books that are out there along with it that explain the symbology and some of the art, it makes complete sense and it couldn't have been any more well done. I learned so much about tarot and the Thoth system. And I prefer, when I am reading with the meanings, to go by the ones I had learned from this system. It is very occulty. It is very esoteric. My outsider deck, unfortunately, my guy here, my shoot the loo deck, um, I am a huge Lovecraft fan. And I do adore this deck. It just really doesn't fit in with my others much outside of kind of being dark themed. And uh, I use it for different purposes than the usual. This is my deck I go to when I just want to have fun and read. Not for any specific purpose, but when the will or want hits me. I do love this deck. It is amazing. I do love the art. I love everything about it. I'll have to watch this back. Was that an orb that just went through the camera? Oh well. For the stranger, the new one in town, the terror of the vampires. Yes, this would be my newest, and it is thought-based, an amazing deck. And even though it is a stranger and new to my village, I think it will be well acquainted and well accepted in my village. Um, I absolutely love this one as well. Everything about it is amazing. I mean, the art. Of course, I love vampires and vampire-themed things. I mean, look at that. It's gorgeous. You know, if you're, uh, if you're like me around my age and can remember back when Hot Topic was awesome and not so mainstream, <laughs> uh... You remember those journals or calendars with similar artwork of like the dark vampires, like uh, kind of like this you would see on journal covers there, calendars and pens and other things they had. I used to go in there every weekend to buy a new one because I loved the art so much. So having a tarot deck that's kind of similar and reflects it is amazing. And I love the fact it's thought based. Alright, my lovelies, thank you for coming by and watching this. Much love to you all.